In this specific video, you're going to learn how to speed up your WordPress site with image compression. Now, one of the many reasons why a site loads very slowly when an end user visits a site is image compression. That just means that, let's say for example, you visit a site and you have a decent internet connection, but it still takes 20 or 30 seconds to load. If I were you, or for most people, they will become frustrated and leave your site. So you definitely want to pay close attention to the specific video. So we're going to take an image, let's say for example you've got 10 images on your site and each of these images are about 200 kilobytes. Now while that doesn't seem a lot, it can add up to being a lot. So now you have an idea, there are two different ways of going about doing this. And we're going to talk about these two different ways. Number one, by using the WordPress image sizing feature whenever you upload your images. And number two, we're going to be using WordPress plugin. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and create a post. So go to post, click on add new post. I'm going to call it image test. And within the body of the post, I'm going to click on the add media link. And from here, I'm going to select the files that I want to upload. Now, if you're using Windows, you'll notice that if you're browsing for a file and you place your mouse right over the picture, it'll tell you what the size is. In this case, it's only 159 kilobytes, which is not a lot of space. However, keep in mind that even though it's not a lot of space, you still want to compress it as much as possible without losing the quality of the picture. So let's go ahead and use this picture. Now for each image you can enter the title, the alternate text, and so forth, but in this specific video we're going to skip that and we're going to go straight down to the size section and the full size is 900 by 900 However, 300 by 300 should be big enough. In fact, 150 by 150 between these two should be a decent size. Now, the good thing about WordPress is if you choose a different size, let's say 300 by 300, then WordPress is going to automatically decrease the size of the file. Most of the time, if you're using some sort of WYSIWYG HTML editor tool and you simply decrease the visual size, the actual size of the photo is still retained. So that's the beauty of WordPress and simply select the size and click on insert into post. Now one way you can test this and make sure that it has decreased the file size and I'll show you this in a minute, is by clicking Publish and by going to the live site and simply saving that file. So this is the file here. If I right click and click on Save Link As and I went ahead and save it, if I, in this case I'm going to go into File Manager, right click, click on View Details and as you can see it has decreased the size from 159 kilobytes down to 11 kilobytes and the quality is still retained. So as long as you can think, okay, I'm going to decrease even the smallest size image, with this mindset, you're going to have a fast loading website. Now, there are other plugins that you can use and one of the plugins is called WP Image Size. So if I go under Plugins and I click on Add New and I do a search for that specific plugin which is WP Image Size. So we've got WP Image Size Limit is the plugin. Click on Install Now, click on OK and go ahead and install the specific plugin and activate it and then go under settings on the plugins page right here. Click on settings. You can actually change the 
maximum dimensions where the image is inserted into the body of the post. So if I am changing, right now it's 300 by 300 by default, as you saw earlier in the thumbnail size, 150 by 150. If I wanted to decrease this further and say that the thumbnail size should be 100 by 100 and the medium size should be maybe 200 by 200, then across the board, every time I try to insert an image into the body of a post, it's going to make sure that these sizes apply. That's all I need to do in this specific section. Now for advanced users, you can do auto embeds and so forth under here. However, for the most part and for the basics, just change the thumbnail size, medium size, and the large size. And that's it.